Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Rochella. I'm gonna make this quick before my family finds me. I hope that you are enjoying all the videos sent in by Miss Savannah, Miss Luda, and Miss Katia. We all miss you guys. I'm gonna continue with um, circle time, but we're gonna do it a little differently. I am gonna do a folk tale, a Russian folk tale um, called the Fox the rabbit and the rooster and I'm gonna change it up a little bit. I couldn't find a book in my house because um, I only have so many books. There are some books right there. Um, I'm in my sunroom by the way and I'm hiding again and um, we are going to just, I'm gonna read it to you. I found um, something to read to you online but I drew the pictures so bear with me. Okay, and at the end, I'm going to show you how to draw a fox, a rabbit, and a rooster. Okay, Mwah. Oh, wait a minute, I forgot to ask. Hey, give me five. Number one, legs are crossed. Number two, hands are still. Number three, ears are listening. Number four, eyes are watching. And number five, we're going to zip it, lock it, and put it in our pocket. So let's try to remember some of the things that we've talked about in the past weeks. I guess we can say that we've talked a lot about geography, where we live and where some of us have traveled to. We know that we live in Rye or the surrounding areas like Harrison or Portchester. We know that Rye is in the state of New York, which is in the United States. We know where Spain is, which is across the Atlantic Ocean, where the flower-smelling, peace-loving bull Ferdinand from the book Ferdinand lives. We know where China is, where they celebrate Lunar New Year. We know where Brazil is, where they celebrate Carnival and love football, and where the Summer Olympics were held four years ago. We know where India is, where they celebrate Holy Festival. And now we travel to Russia, the largest country in the world, well, in terms of size. Russia has the largest area of forests over 40 national parks and 100 wildlife preserves, and has the biggest freshwater lake in the world. And now let's listen to the Russian folk tale, well, my version of it anyway, of the fox, the rabbit, and the rooster. Once upon a time, there was a fox and a rabbit living in the woods. In the winter time, the fox made a house of ice, and the rabbit made a house of wood. Spring came and melted the fox's house, while the rabbits stood firm and strong. So the fox asked the rabbit if she could come in to warm herself, and then drove the rabbit out. The rabbit went down the road crying and met two dogs who asked, Woof, woof, why are you crying? <sighs> Leave me alone, dogs. Who wouldn't cry? I had a wooden house while the fox had one of ice. She invited herself into mine and drove me out. <sighs> Don't cry, rabbit, barked the dogs. Woof, woof, we'll chase her out. No, you won't. Oh, yes, we will. And off they went to the rabbit's house. Woof, 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 come out of there, fox. Go away before I come and tear you to pieces, shouted the fox back from the house. The dogs took fright and fled. Once more, the rabbit went on his way, crying. <sighs> this time he met a bear who asked, Rawr! Why are you crying? Leave me alone, bear, said the rabbit. Who wouldn't cry? <sighs> I had a wooden house while the fox had one of ice, and she invited herself into mine and drove me out. <sighs> Don't cry, rabbit, said the bear. I'll chase her out. No, you won't. The dogs tried and failed, and you'll fare no better. Oh, yes, I will. And off they went to chase her out. Come out, fox, rawr, roared the bear. But she shouted from the house, Go away before I come and tear you to pieces. And the bear took fright and fled. Once more, the rabbit went on his way, crying, <sighs> and met an ox who asked, Hmm, why are you crying? Leave me alone, ox. Who wouldn't cry? I had a house made of wood while the fox had one of ice. 
she invited herself into mine and drove me out. <sighs> and the ox said, come with me, I'll chase her out. <sighs> no, you won't, said the rabbit. The dogs tried and failed. The bear tried and failed. And you'll fare no better. Oh, yes, I will. And off they went to the rabbit's house. Come out, fox. But she shouted back from the house. Go away before I come and tear you to pieces. And the ox took fright and fled. Once more, the rabbit went on his way crying and met a rooster. Cock-a-doodle-doo. Why are you crying, rabbit? Leave me alone, rooster. Who wouldn't cry? I had a house made of wood while the fox had one of ice. She invited herself into mine and drove me out. Well, come with me. I'll chase her out. No, you won't, said the rabbit. The dogs tried and failed. The bear tried and failed. The ox tried and failed. And you'll fare no better. <sighs> oh, yes, I will, said the rooster. So they went up to the house. Cock-a-doodle-doo! Cock-a-doodle-doo! And when the fox heard that, he thought it was morning. He ran out the door and disappeared into the woods, and he was never heard from again. So the rabbit and the rooster lived happily ever after. The end. Okay, so let's draw. How to draw a fox. And we're going to start with a can. We're going to trace it with a crayon once and then again. Then we're going to draw these arcs at the bottom, two of them. That's the bottom of the fox's face, then we do the nose, the eyes and two triangles at the top for the ears. And maybe a tail. And what we could also do for the nose is add a button. There you go. Isn't it cute? How to draw a rabbit. So you take the same can and crayon. Um, maybe trace it, yep, lower. Trace it lower once. And again, but only on the inside of that first circle, just an arc. And that's going to be the snout of the rabbit. Is it called the snout? Okay, you're going to draw the nose, a little triangle, and then the eyes. And then we're going to do the mouth. So it's one line down then two curved lines, and then teeth. So it's just rectangles. Maybe some eyelashes. Maybe some rabbit ears. These nice long rabbit ears. And I'm thinking maybe let's draw the body. Just two lines on the right and on the left. And then the little paws at the bottom. done with the rabbit. So let's draw a rooster. We take our hand and we really want to hold our fingers together but our thumb is kind of curved and we trace it. And then we're going to just connect the bottom and add some feet. Two lines. And on top of the rooster's head, it's got this kind of like crown. I don't know what to call it. I'm sure there's a more technical word, but we're just going to do that. Then we do the beak and an eye, and then the rooster's tail. And we're done. Okay, boys and girls, I hope you have fun, and see you next time. Bye.